Heritage is a value that is handed down to generations. It could be in the form of customs, culture, locality, buildings, architecture and manuscripts. They represent a bygone era and the innate characteristics and values of a society and nation. Heritage buildings are a good example of this as they exude unique architectural aesthetics, political and social features of a different time. Heritage buildings exude their own emotions through their unique historical identity. Hence, the conservation of heritage building is relevant, especially in educating the society's knowledge on history. My name is Alex Lee, and today's episode on Design Seed, we are collaborating with the book publisher Atelier International to unveil a series of restorations that has given a new life and purpose to the heart of downtown KL. In this episode, we will be premiering some of the most iconic influential transformation projects in the heart of the city of Kuala Lumpur. The name Zhao Tim comes from the Cantonese word which means hotel. Back in 1920s, Zhao Tim was a hotel and travel agency. When their owners restored Zhao Tim into a performance bar and cafe, they retained the original building including the roof structure that was left exposed covered by a new roof. Another key feature to the project is the use of the old lighting fixtures that reminisces the values of the old Art Deco era. Warong Old China showcases the owner's impressive collection of traditional furniture and artwork. The well-known restaurant and event space feels like an art gallery for the owner's exquisite collection and a memory of familiar aged furniture that reminds us of our childhood memories. The 113-year-old Chinese pastry shop has rebranded itself in their new home in Wisma Chapkai. The setback area has been turned into an alfresco dining with large operable windows along the building frontage for natural ventilation and natural lighting. LOKL Coffee Company is one of the first cafes in the area to serve Western fares. LOKL is a part of High Street Studios, a collection of five shop houses with a courtyard spanning across the middle. LOKL maintains the original walls where marks of old flood levels are still visible today. The cafe opens up the courtyard with alfresco seating area around a large tree. A modern interpretation of renovations. Nico Nico Matcha 2.0 stands out against the rest with its all-white interior. Minimalistic in its interior, the focal point of the space is the skeletal-like fixture hanging along the length of the shop. An honest restoration, Choka Food Store has retained the original walls and paint showing marks of life from the previous occupants. The original wind blocks and handrails were retained and reused. The courtyard serves as an alfresco dining as well as a visual connection to the bar upstairs. Tianjin, meaning airwell in Chinese, exudes the old Nanyang atmosphere with its traditional decor and furniture. Airwells are a prominent feature throughout, with open airwells that connect the ground and first floor. Each room includes its own semi outdoor bathroom that opens out into a private airwell.
Wildflower KL boasts as an open ground floor restaurant and bar, a rarity in the area. Modern and contemporary, the ground floor features a modern bar counter and two private dining areas. Upper flight of futurist looking staircase, the space opens up into a light-filled dining area and around the central atrium hangs grill panels hovering above the bar counter. One of the few cafes serving specialty coffee, Cafe 16 stands out as their serving users chocolate from their sister cafe, Barrel's Chocolate, store next door. The long shop house is punctuated by two courtyards, splitting the cafe into three distinct areas with three distinct yet unified styles. The interior is a blend of modern and timeless materials. Recycled door panels, folding grills and furniture are part of the charm of Mingo High Street, but they also hide a swimming pool within its walls. The hostel rooms open directly out into the pool, where patrons and guests all share the communal space. The patchwork of the panels and materials all come together to create the rustic charm. The three-storey Malaya Garden took shape in what was previously an old alleyway. Bright turquoise is accented with gold trimmings. The interior exudes luxury with its modern finishes. Tropical plants are planted throughout the space, showcasing the beauty of tropical plants reflecting to the proud roots of our tropical flora. Did you know that along Jalan Sultan, there was once one of the oldest theatre in Malaysia where our parents used to watch the latest films? The famous Rex Cinema that suffered through two fire outbreaks was then reborn as Rex KL. Rex KL now houses a food hall with many varied offerings. An iconic bookstore and a theatre hall where it used to screen movies has now turned into a space of limitless possibilities. A space serving as an event venue, an art gallery for cultural agenda and all sorts of creative programs. Conserving heritage buildings is a noble act that requires passion and determination. A heritage building's value is unquantifiable. Once it's lost, it can never be replaced and can be considered gone for good. We hope that this video could create an awareness and inspire everyone about the conservation of heritage buildings. Let's all ask ourselves, must there only be new developments? Can the abandoned buildings and projects in Malaysia be restored and repurposed? Share your comments below and let us know what you think. Design is an amazing influence. It doesn't only impact the new and the modern, but in fact, the old and the classic too. I'm hopeful that one day, the conservation of heritage buildings will be given serious consideration and not taken lightly. If you enjoyed the episode today, help us share this video and let us create a motivating awareness in hope for a better tomorrow for our design scene. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Scene. Please subscribe to us and click on the notification buzzer to stay tuned to more of our compelling episodes. Thank you for watching.